gonna try and make this all happen. All right, we're good, we're in. Okay. Hello. Um, this is uh, purely uh, to, you know, it's important to establish a timeline of when everyone talked about attributes. Um, and so I think Dan was probably before this, but ours is November 13th of 2020. But this is a talk about attributes. <laughs> um, this is a 10 minute talk, more than a talk. This is like, a, I just wanna show you something cool. Um, it is uh, a capability uh, that I wanna put in your toolkit and it's sort of the culmination of a, a dream. Um, so, have you ever seen someone say something like this? I'm so tired of having to write more code to expose API endpoints in Livewire. People say stuff like this all the time, right? Um, and when they say stuff like this, what they mean is, I want to work fast, I want to develop a Livewire application, I wanna iterate quickly, uh, I want to prototype, and then one day, someone's going to call upon me to expose an API, uh, and I'm going to need to output some structured JSON of my data. But the best thing about LiveWire, we all know, is that you don't have any controllers, right? And I don't want to add a controller to my app just to have an API, right? It would feel dirty. It would feel like we're breaking an, an invisible wall. What can we do about this? So attributes are great. I was talking to Caleb on the podcast the other day about attributes, and I've always sort of had this dream of like, hey, Livewire itself should be able to just give me some JSON, right? Like, you've got all the data. Just give it to me, <laughs> you know? Just let me have it uh, so that if I'm, God forbid, Shane, making a React Native app or something, uh, I can just have the data and put it in my React Native app. Um, but, you know, Livewire is so coupled to HTML, what are we gonna do about this? Okay, well, if you're, if you're any kind of a live wire head at all, you've probably tried building this at some point. Uh, a lot of us have. <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's a common busy box for the, Lara, or for the live wire developer. Um, but yeah, attributes are a great mechanism uh, in, and they're like well adopted inside of live wire in general. Obviously we all use the computed attribute 12 times a day. Uh, we use the on attribute when we need to hook into like a Livewire event. Uh, and we even use the layout attribute. But let's talk more about that on attribute. The great thing about the on attribute, right, it, it lets us take a function that we've already written and hook it into an event. Uh, there are many hooks in Livewire, and one of them, the best one, some might say, is the render hook. And in the render hook, you can do all sorts of things to the final output of your component. So here's a little uh, Livewire app I have. Um, unfortunately, I'm a professional invoicing system developer. Um, all I do <laughs> is uh, people come to me and say, I have a really complicated and bespoke invoicing use case. Is there anything you could do for me? And I say, yeah, yeah fortunately, that's something we're very good at. Um, so I built this invoicing app. Um, and, you know, this is a classic uh, Livewire component. It's an index of invoices, and it's a little form to make an invoice. And I could say like, one, five, five, four, five, customer name, John Drexler, um, stakes. For an invoice, there he is. Um, so this is great, we love to create an invoice. Um, and I love to see all my invoices. What I would love to see is to see them in JSON, right? And there's a lot of ways to do that. One of them is to do this, right? And so what's happening here? I don't know. Uh, let's just take a quick look at this component. So here's my invoices component. This is real small, isn't it? All right. So I think you will see something here. This is a get JSON attribute. Uh, this get JSON, so LiveWire allows you to create attributes, and in those attributes, you can set up hooks. So we're just gonna go look at this get JSON attribute. We're gonna see that it extends something called the uh, format aware attribute. And in here, we have a method called render. So you can make an attribute uh, that you can apply to any method in your Livewire component that hooks into any of these uh, Livewire hooks, including the render hook. And so what I've done here is create something called the format aware attribute, which allows us to do stuff like this. So this get JSON attribute, extends format aware attribute, and when a request comes into the component, 
that matches this HTTP method, get, uh, and these accept headers, uh, it will trigger, um, and, am I, oh, I'm not, oh, there, here we go, I'm in a Z buffer, and I was like, and this extension, <laughs> JSON, uh, it will fire off this two response method that I wrote in the render hook. And so this is like a really cool little thing I can use where any file extension, any accept headers, I can return totally different responses. So in this case, I'm just getting all of the public properties on this thing and returning them as JSON. Um, and just to show you what else is possible, because I'm pretty short, wait, I don't have, do I have 10 minutes? All right, cool. Just to show, I was like, I have more time than I thought. I can slow down. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of things. So this is Yak. I don't know if you've seen Yak. It's basically Postman. Um, so here is our index, and I am going to show you, this is our invoices page that we've all seen before. In my headers, I'm just going to enable an accept header for application JSON, hit fire, and I get back as JSON. This is our show page for an invoice. Whoops. I'm going to, with no headers, get back a real Livewire component. I'm going to enable this accept application JSON, and I'm gonna get back JSON. I'm gonna enable accept application PDF. Wait for it. I'm getting back, a, this is a real PDF uh, that actually exists. This is made by BrowserShot, like in the back end. Um, and even, I'm gonna make a post request to that invoices index uh, that you've previously seen, and I'm going to get a validation error, because LiveWire's validation is working and telling me this invoice number has already been taken. So I'm gonna increment this invoice number to this and make a request, and it worked, and it saved, and I got the thing back in my API. Um, this is cool, I hacked this together, this is not a package. I'm not launching anything. You can't have it. <laughs> I just want to show you that you can do this. Um, the important thing here in our uh, invoices component, I've got two mechanisms here. Get JSON. When a request comes in with an accept JSON header, we're going to get this property, the invoices property, which is, uh, in this case, a computed property, um, and we're going to return it JSON encoded. When a post request comes in, uh, we're going to put all of the things that came in, all the key value pairs that came in in our JSON, we're gonna fill this invoice form, which is a Livewire form object, with all of that stuff, and then we're gonna call this method create invoice. And so every post request that comes in, we populate invoice form, which is these three things, and then we call create invoice, which runs validation, creates an invoice, resets the form, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it just works. You can do this with anything. Uh, I did stop short of uh, having ChatGPT explain the data to me and then bouncing that to 11 labs to return an MP3 from .mp3. But you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, there's almost no end to this. Um, and since I know that many of you will want this code, this is ransomware. This repo will be made public when 30 people have joined the mailing list at thunk.dev. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.